All right, man. So a lot of y'all been asking me where was the Destroy Lonely uh, album when it dropped. I still think Destroy Lonely had a better album than Ken Carson. A lot of people would disagree. I mean, y'all saying that is, that's Goomba's best album. I'm really not really understanding why. Again, if you guys like it, you like it. It is on Patreon if you guys want to see that. But I did not upload the Destroy Lonely to Patreon. Uh, it, it, some copyright shit happened. I was not able to get 26 tracks um, uploaded to uh, YouTube. But um, I'm going to upload this deluxe on YouTube just because I felt I felt really, really bad that I couldn't. A lot of people thought, oh, this nigga dad be stupid. He's not going to release this shit. That's crazy. But Destroy Lonely, if looks could kill, just know it is in some in some way, shape, or form if looks could kill is actually on my um, list videos. And I will say that it's not on a worst list video. All right. So don't worry about that. I do think that Destroy Lonely had a great year. And um, just know that he's on one of my list videos. So that should itself be a, a, a thumbs up, hands, hand of a round of applause. Uh, I just think that his album was way too long. But he has a deluxe version. And wait, you got to cut that? No, no, no. I suck. I still got I still got long hair. I just have my hoodie on. It's kind it's kind of cold. But um, yeah, I just think that Destroy Lonely. Uh, you know, he had a great year between him and Ken Carson too. As much as I did not like Ken Carson's album, I think Ken Carson uh definitely had a great year. Um, you know, a lot of people enjoyed that album. They thought it was album of the year. They still think it's album of the year. They still think it's his best album. I'm happy that everybody's enjoying the Ken Carson album. It's just not for me. But this album is only four tracks. I was supposed to do this back then. I did not do it. I'm going to try to catch up as much shit as I, as I can um, before the year's over and in the first month. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to try to catch up as much as I, can, as I can. But, yeah, nigga, you are not lone. What do you mean? Destroy here? That is not lone. <laughs> that is not lone. Anyways, the first track is called Too Damn Rich on the deluxe. Hopefully I'm right. I do like this album cover though. I think this album cover is fucking dope. Like the purple. I think the purple is dope. Again, y'all know I love mellow shit, right? Mellow shit is definitely my more lane of, of when it comes to these new age trap artists. I think that this track right here definitely is 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 way not way better, but like a little bit better than what I've heard on the first twenty six tracks. Like I like I like when Lone gets it some cool shit. I, when I did the Lone first listen, I've heard Lone do some other shit that that was not shown on this album. You know what I'm saying? Like. I like the little guitar. I like the little guitar play. I feel like we on a beach listening to some destroyed lonely trap. You know, like. Too damn rich. 
Hey, this shit kind of hard. Hold on. But I would have been ended already. Like I already, I already had, already had ended it. Of course we get an ad man but destroy so wait y'all like that track though like I, so so do y'all like do y'all prefer actual rapping like hardcore gritty loan or do y'all love the melodic loan uh what a potato potato or do y'all like melodic loan because i feel like melodic loan is like Rock loan finna break. I like rock loan, right? Like that's the first when I did the first listen, you guys showed me a rock loan track. Rock loan. But a rock loan track. And I thought the rock loan track was insane. Like I I was like, why does he not do that? Like for them to dress how they dress in the vamp sexuals, you know, trans vamps, I don't understand why they don't actually stick to to the music if they gonna do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like again, I understand it's a new age kind of rock star mentality and, and and different style bringing that style to rap i get it but i mean i would just be cool at least some kind of rap uh, rock tracks you know like next track is called spilling she she can go to any ways i be getting high different ways different type of paper i be different types of paper every day i be getting every way Stay the same Money keep on come out way I'm telling my game Bitches keep on come out way Ain't saving mine I be good rave, rave I be raving down I go I black shot I go raving down See this is my problem with Lone though Like I feel like Lone got some crazy ass production And then his his flow on the track be crazy And then sometimes I feel like I, I don't know if it's just my ear But I feel like he just gets off beat sometimes bro Like I feel like he literally gets like off beat. And this shit be killing me, bro. Like <laughs> How about the motherfucker spring? I said more than a second, then that nigga ain't for dinner. Check out my medallion, baby. Huh, I'm a winner. I don't do profiling, baby. Huh, I just spill it. Spill it. I be spilling. State to state, state to state, I'm 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 big at the beginning like i just didn't like how like it continued on and i just felt like there was no energy behind it like like that track had so much potential for loner to just go crazy on it and i feel like he was just very just monotone and very just 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 throughout the track like he didn't do anything that was that was gradually getting better you know like next track is called check the fleet i know what that means that's his cars yeah. 
Only day on my mind is downside. I keep my fight by my side, they by my side. I stay with the gang shot, I got my ties. I can't get caught up with my no freak, cause they are mine. Pulling out the wheels, check the feet, yeah, they are fine. I got a little blooded, I just rolled up, go to the final. No, I can't get booked, back, I'm a free to fight the police side. I eat a bit for a show. I get pussy, I can kiss, they free to show my toes yeah. I do the swag with different, baby, I rock different clothes yeah. And I'm not just a rapper, baby, I'm more of a mogul European fashion shows, baby, I'm global, they just local I love the beats I think the beats are like uh, no trip that we're listening to music right now. Bitches life is death about this money, this shit now is never. I get like that with my game, we tell it. I get like that with my bitches, yeah, we stuck together. Yeah, I get dread like it, kicking like something special. Speed on the pussy in the head, like I put it on the board. Now, so we go like the head. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this one. I like smoking the top shelf, but I'm just way, way over. Wait, they froze as fuck, let's try to help me. I think I'm way, way over fresh, I'm fresh to death, somebody help me. I think I'm way, way over dress, came in too flat, somebody help me. Bro, it's just like, like I understand it's a different style, and sometimes it does come on beat. Like I, I, I'm, I'm one for sure to, to, to appreciate an offbeat flow because it's never an offbeat. If you got rhythm, you can, you can kind of catch where they're coming because even if it's unorthodox, you can catch the beat and see where he's going with different, you know, cadences and different, you know, timings. Like you can hear the shit, but like sometimes, like Lone just be blatantly just like I'm just going right. Like, like, like I don't understand why a lot of people like Earl. Because while people will say it's very innovative of what Earl does, sometimes Earl just is strictly off beat on purpose. Like, the fuck, he's just talking over a beat. And that's just not appealing to me. It's just really not. Like, for me, rapping is definitely having some sort of, of, of rhythm, I guess you could say. Uh, remember when Drake did that track with Hetty One? Um, when he did the Arab ting, whatever you're talking about, Arak Paksi, whatever. He was still on beat, even though people thought he was off beat. He was still on beat. It was just a different beat. Like Earl, literally, sometimes is blatantly just, just not even doesn't even care about the beat. He's literally just like, yeah, I'm fucking, uh, yeah, I want to go to the store right now. I want to buy me some eggs. I don't know, man. Something like the legs. Yeah, it's it's fags. Blah blah, eggs. I don't know the regs. You know, like legs. You know, like that's how he be talking about. You know, like and then when 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 Lone does sometimes the same thing too. Not saying like he's like off beat in that that sense where he's just doing a poetry thing. It's just loans just like I'm a talking and I'm running with the sound and I'm talking with the with the with the with the sound and the and the whole beat literally just be all over here and he, and loans this way. I just don't know, man, like But the beats is crazy, man. I love the instrumentation of the guitar and I keep my fight by my side, they love my side. I stay with the gang shot. I got my ties. I can't get caught up with my no freak, cause they are So he's on beat right now. I do will to check the feet, yeah, they are fine. I got a little blood I just rolled up, throw it in the fire. No, I can't get booked, baby. I'm a free to fight a police side. Yeah, look, baby, I just can't smash, ain't wasting time now. I might get you a new AB and just freeze the time up. I know they hate me, cause I step out, I get different designers. Yeah, we stay real. Okay, he's on beat still. So much, I can't even find it. You hear the beat though, like yo. That beat is crazy.
Hi, Daddy Dev. How are you, Papa? I'm good. Can you play karaoke by T-Pain after this, please? Um, Nev, I love you, dog, but you spelled karaoke wrong, so I can't play it. I'm sorry. I like that beat, though. That sounds like... That's the shit, like, right there. I guess, again, it's very unorthodox because when you hear a beat like that, I'm expecting, like, some, like, some... It's been a while since I just told you when I'm wrong. It's been a while... And since I do you, my love, you like <laughs> I'm expecting some, I'm expecting some like rock shit, you know, when it coming from that, but you don't get that, yeah. This track is called Back Sipping. Undertaker dope that mean is strong niggas. I mean I know Undertaker strong, but like <laughs> you could pick a, you could have picked a lot of other strong niggas, you know, like Paul's. I'm so cologne, nigga. I gotta change my phone number up cause I don't even know niggas. I might need a part of the cup. I don't think I'm gonna feel it. This one's crazy. Though. Break my heart, bitch, I ain't got no feelings. That must spread so dirty. This a couple days Oh, this one. See, when I first when I first heard Lone, the first Lone track, I basically like when I like I was like, oh, if looks could kill, when we heard that shit, I was like, that's that track. This one definitely sounds in that same realm. But this the shit I'm talking about, like this this loan right here, this why I feel like loan is better than Carson in my opinion, cause this one's crazy. Oh, it's a playlist. It's a playlist. Already W album. Already W deluxe. I put it on playlist. It's called back zipping. Yeah, this that's right. This this is where I feel like Lone on this. If looks could kill, this is where he was killing it. When he was doing tracks like this. This is when he was killing it. Because there was a couple tracks on the album that was just like this. Okay, About to here, use a shovel. Again, though, man. I'm glad it was only, it was only four tracks on the Deluxe. Um, he put more of it on the main album, which I appreciate. Because the Deluxe is only supposed to consist of like four to four to five tracks, if that. Maybe two, three. That's what Deluxe's back in the day were. They were never full, blown out albums how they were doing it. Remember the, the, the Deluxe, 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 Deluxe year? I believe that was like 2019, 2018. No, 20, yeah, the 2019, 2020 was the year of the deluxe, 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 deluxe. Uh, they was just having hella crazy deluxe albums that were just, just like completely, totally different albums, including Gunna, Trippy Red, Nav did a whole album that was the Brown Boy, Uzi Vert did it. Uh, he had a whole deluxe that was a whole different album. Just a lot of artists were dropping deluxes that were, um, just completely different albums um i don't know if it was just because of the label i don't know i'm not going to get into the politics of it but i'm just glad that destroy lonely only dropped four tracks on here again i love that too damn rich i think that too damn rich was cool but i think the highlight of this uh deluxe was back sipping back sipping is again the loan that i felt like if looks could kill that was kind of the focal sound of the album um you know if looks could kill obviously was fired everybody loved everybody also loved um there was another track on here that uh, How You Feel was another track that everybody loved. 
and also uh, Money and Sex. That's the one that had Ken Carson on there, um, as well as Destroy Lonely. Again, um, I, I, w- I think that Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson should definitely collab more, for sure. They're definitely in the same realm, same popularity, in a sense. Uh, I would still say Lonely is definitely more than Ken, even though Ken dropped an album that everybody would say is more superior than If Looks Could Kill, which I don't agree with. But, you know, opinions are opinions. I think that Ken Carson would do very well on uh loan production i think that that's the thing i always have a problem with that ken carson's beat selections are great but they just don't fit his kind of style again agree to disagree uh but i feel like when ken carson gets on a destroy lonely type of beat he definitely has that that darkness and that sound to just kind of fill in these kind of tracks now back sipping again that's the kind of track that i that i feel like loan just does just does so well and and he has that kind of just like evil tone to him you know like evil horror uh, very dark feel to him, and that's why I feel like Lone right, like really carries that aura, and it just does really well for him. Again, I've heard uh, different types of Lone on different uh, on different styles, especially rock tracks, and he also did kind of like a pop track earlier that I heard on the first listen. Um, but I just don't I, I don't know what direction they're gonna go in in 2024. I will say this though, Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely will probably have a yeet year. In 2024, I don't know which one of them is going to have that year, but I feel like either or one of them is going to go crazy in 2024. I just don't know. I, I wouldn't put my money on who is, but I will put my money on either one of them is going to go crazy next year. I I really feel like that. Um, no, Yeet already had his year. Yeet's already crazy, going crazy. But I feel like two more songs on the deluxe. Um, nah, it, I got. Too damn rich, spilling, check the fleet, and back sipping. Am I tripping? In the air. There's no in the air, bro. Catch a kill. So catch a kill is new. Catch a kill. Okay, I see catch a kill. Hold on. Producer, because I feel like his producers definitely be doing their thing. See, my thing too about loan is, man, like, yo, like, you, you, if you gonna make a long track like that, three minutes, man, like, yo, you gotta, you gotta do something, man, like, put some inflections or some shit, like some air horns, something, like, yo, put some stuff, like, go deep or something, pause. But that's crazy, like, you gotta definitely do something like different. 
You know, like, because there's nothing wrong with the B selection. The B selection is amazing. Shout out to their producers. Like, I feel like if you look at an equalizer, right? This is the best way to explain it. If there was an equalizer, loan literally stays on the equalizer. Like, Lone literally does not go anywhere different on the equalizer. He literally stays at the same. Like, he might go a little bit under, over it, under, over it, but he stays in that same sound, you know? Like, it was produced by a guy named Esco. Like DJ Esco. Lone stays in the same wavelength each verse. Sanfa album is a must have. You will appreciate it. I know you like it. Oh, for sure. I'm definitely going to do Sanfa. What was the other track? That's My is another. Is, is the other one is y'all saying? Is y'all saying That's My? I'm pretty sure That's My was not on the album. Okay. Okay, so That's My was the other one. I like the beats, I just don't like the 808s. Okay, forgettable track. Um, I mean, I've already said exactly what I was saying. Again, That's My was definitely a no-no for me, but Catch a Kill was fire, man. I love Catch a Kill. Again, that, that's also another kind of trap loan that I can get into. I'm just hoping his next album is a little bit more diverse uh, because he's shown that he can be diverse. I'm just hoping that it's, it's just something that's a little bit more creative on his part because he's such a, from what I've seen on a small sample scale, he's such a talented um, mind. I wouldn't say, well, artist, even artist, talented mind. All right? He has ideas. Sometimes the best people have some great ideas. They, they, they just really can't deliver it. But I feel like Lone has great ideas in his head, and hopefully that all comes to show in 2024. I feel like Lone can definitely do it. Uh, he already has the cult-like fan base, you know, and, and he already has 
you know, um, flashes of when he just makes these great tracks and everybody kind of loves it. You know, I feel like he had, while Ken Carson's album was loved by a lot of people and, and regarded as one of the better albums of the year and out of the two, the better album, I still think that if Looks Could Kill the single from Lone is better than anything Ken Carson dropped. Yes, we're going to compare. That's just what's going to happen. They're both in opium. They both have similar styles. Uh, again, you guys, whatever you guys say, they don't. They do. They both have similar styles. But I feel like nothing that Ken Carson did was comparable to If Looks Could Kill. If, if Looks Could Kill was probably, if not, one of the better tracks of the year. I mean, it was definitely one of the highlights of opium. Um, if Looks Could Kill was just so fucking dope uh, for what it was, so... That's just how I feel about it, man. Um, sorry for the late, you know, delivery or the late upload. Uh, again, if you guys want to watch the original Destroy Lonely, uh, If Looks Could Kill album uh, reaction, it is on Patreon, my Patreon. Um, again, you guys don't have to pay for it. It's just there. I'm just throwing it out there if you guys, you know, want to watch that. But, um, yeah, that's how I feel about it, man. So, get in the comments below. Let me just think. Don't forget, follow me on social media here. What do you guys think Lone's cap will be in 2024? I'm actually kind of curious. So, that being said, thanks YouTube, Twitch gang, stay here. But YouTube, man, we are out. Till next time, um, love y'all. Peace.